Hello, this is the third tutorial video about Artemis Mission Editor. In this video I'll talk about some advanced editing techniques in the latest version. First of all, uh, you can copy and paste uh, the text from your mission XML files into the editor. For example, if you have some uh, common uh, list of uh, events uh, with some useful code snippets you'd like to use. You can just copy your event here like this, even with the commentary and stuff, and just paste it here, and here it goes. The event is, you can see, here it is. It's just copied there. You can even do it like this, like just copy just any kind of uh, statements, even if the event tags are not properly closed in the selection because they are in the between. You can just copy and paste it into your event and you'll have all those statements you selected, like from this, if variable set timer, blah blah, to all those, and they are all in inputted here. So that can be useful, uh, like Mike said, he has a lot of uh, code snippets like that in uh, different files. You can just search them for search for the exact one with your normal XML or Notepad or other text editor, and then copy and paste the desired event into this mission editor. So here's that. Then I'd like to show the search functionality I've added. The find and replace. You can look uh, through your mission. Let me load some bigger mission like hammock sector. You can look for any kind of text and you can look in displayed statement text like set property can build. You see. There it found it for me. You can look in XML attribute names, like for example, you li you'd like to find uh, every uh, in every statement in the game that uses specific uh, attribute name, like some use GM selection. For example, if you want to convert your mission or remove all the um, God mode and other shortcuts. You, 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 you made in order to test your mission. You can look for a use GM position or use GM selection or something like that and remove that later when you find where it's used and so on. You can of course look in the attribute values. For example, we can look for Warsaw in attribute values and we'll find, uh, find all the uses of the this name. You can also uh, look in exact attribute names. For example, you want to find where Warsaw is a target name. Uh, it's not a target name anywhere. Okay. Um, for example, find where Artemis is a target name. Here you see. It shows all the statements where Artemis is the target. Then you can look in commentaries, like all the commentaries that mention Artemis. Also, you can look in mission node names, uh, those mission node names here, for example, event 45. Um, there is no event 45. <laughs> Strange. Ah, yes. It's already selected. <laughs> Here, here's that. And then you can also specifically match the case, like for example, if we want to find where Warsaw is incorrectly typed with a small letter, maybe. We can find, um, we should look in the values, of course, and display statement text. And in all the attribute names. We can find all that and check if we mistyped it somewhere for example, with a lowercase letter, and so on. Also, there is replace functionality. 
You can replace anything with and it, ah yes, sorry. You can also match the exact value, for example, so it won't show stuff like war source back and so on. You can match the exact value. So it only shows where it's war so and nothing else. So it won't match stuff like this. And without exact value, it will. And you can only look in the selected node. Like if I only want to look inside this event 45. Um, for example, weeks. Here it finds uh, where weeks is mentioned inside this exact event that is selected. Then the replace functionality. You can replace any text with any text, just as usual. And you can replace in XML attribute values. You can also specify the exact attribute name. You can replace in commentaries and in mission node names. Like, for example, I want to rename all the event node names to something like abracadabra. And here's that. It's now all replaced throughout the whole mission. Or, or for example, I want to rename Warsaw to some what did Mike say? Niagara. <laughs> Let's do it. And here's that. Here you can as well match the case, the exact value, and uh, look only in the selected node. And as you mentioned, if you are using the find all or replace all functionality, a window pops up here in the bottom that shows all the found results or, or, or all the re replaced results uh, so you can navigate them. Double click or press and enter selects uh, the item. For example, if I want to quickly select this one, I double click it and here it is, or then that one. And uh, those items are also, as you can see, highlighted in the list like this, so that you can quickly find. And you can always clear the result list, that will also clear the selection for you. And, well, that's pretty much it about the find and replace functionality. The hotkeys are just as usual, Ctrl F and Ctrl H. And the last one is the ability to edit some other and create statements at the space map. I plan to add all the statements that have a point or a kind of uh, space uh, figure in them to be editable on the map. But right now you can only edit. Well, you can only edit most of them because they're not there are not very much of them in the game. For example, destroy a nameless object which is a destroy near statement, uh, which is the in the point mode. This one you can edit on the space map. You use uh, Ctrl F2 hotkey. You can use it from, from here as well. Just press Ctrl F2 from here, or even if you are in, in the edit inside, uh, focused on some label, you can just press Ctrl F2. It shows the space map as usual. I think I'll better show it with a um, bigger mission. So let's say in this, here we create an enemy. In this, in this event, we create an enemy. And in this event, we will destroy some nebulas. So, we can now, uh, we, we see all the objects from the start node, the nameless objects, and the silhouettes of the named objects, like players, neutrals, and we can specify the space object. Uh, this time it's a circle, because it's a destroy near statement, and in this statement you specify the amount of meters from some point, in which specifies the circle of the sphere inside which the object chosen, like the nebulas, will be 
removed. So we you can use the usual hotkeys like space to move the object or a left mouse click as well because you can't select anything here. You don't have to select. So the left mouse click is also to move the object. The right mouse click is as usual to move the map around. Uh, the scroll is to move the object up and down also as usual on the space map. And alt click is to set the radius. So as you see, it's uh, very useful. For example, if you want to remove nebulas, you can check how it will look. Like, for example, if, I, if I'm correct, this mission should have removed... Yeah, here it has removed nebulas. So you can visually see what's this about. It's about removing nebulas in this circle. Right now you can use, you can edit destroy nebulas, uh, add AI command, what was it? Yeah, point throttle and uh, direct object to point. If it's a point, you just specify the point and it's hit, nothing more. Uh, in the nearest future, you will also be able to edit uh, if statements, uh, if inside, outside, where is it? Uh, sorry, wrong, wrong hotkey. If inside, outside, sphere box, you will also be able to edit this on the space map. So once again, the hotkey is Ctrl F2 and it will be grayed out if you can't edit it. Well, uh, that's all I wanted to talk about in this video. Thanks for watching.